What's going on, you guys? Welcome to my first impressions of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Now, this game is in alpha, as you can see. It's uh, version 0.2.6, so it's not it's not vanilla. It's not a 1.0 release. I want to kind of make that clear for y'all watching this, because there's a couple things not there. So before you get, before anybody jumps to conclusions and say, wait, wait, this game is lacking so many things, it's in alpha. You could pre-order the game on Steam. And I put it in the description if you're on YouTube. I didn't do it on Steam. Uh, on, I guess, where's the other one? Twitch? I didn't put it on Twitch. But if you're on YouTube, you can go in the description. You can get the link there. But I wanted to kind of give you guys my first impressions of the alpha version of the game. So let's just jump right into it. I played previous version. I'm trying to figure out which one. I think it's this guy. So uh, I think I'm probably going to have to play that. I don't want to play the tutorial, so I'm going to play Inconveniences again. I didn't do so well last time, so <laughs> hopefully I do a little bit better this time. A couple of things, actually. So as you can see here, you have a map here, red, blue. I'm, I'm assuming I'm red because Royal Navy. After a major fire caused by the Spaniards in a completely unworthy attempt to seize British Honduras, the governor has already been bothering the Admiral up for a month. The failure of our fleet to prevent the Spanish moves that damaged some fortification and brought inconvenience for, to trading forced the Admiral to send valuable gifts to the governor and his family. At the same time, he ordered us to secure the trade routes so they will again be free of any Spanish threat. After some boring patrols, we finally spot, spotted Spanish sails on the horizon. So let's go to work here. Now, before we kind of dive into this game here, there we go. I want to kind of point out a few things. I'm going to pause it here. I guess I can't. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to point out is look at this water. This, the water animations. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. I mean, jeez. Like zooming in. Now, mind you, I always want to make this clear. Look at that. That's just beautiful physics. Unbelievable. Wow. And look how it's going to hit the ship. You can see the ship kind of bobbling a little bit from that. So I wanted to just mention that right away because that was the first thing that kind of caught my eyes. You can see there's sh some sh shooting going on. To move a ship, it's pretty easy. You just kind of go like this with your left, uh, with your mouse on your left uh, click and you can see it move. You have a couple of things on the bottom here. You can move, you can go to full sail, it gives you 100% speed. This is 75, 50, and then so on as you guys can guess. You can change out the cannon stuff here. You can go from round, you can go to canister, and then you know you can do chain shot to knock that guy's sails out. I'm probably gonna do that actually. So a few things that I did notice in this is the first thing is when ships, I haven't been able to kind of uh, figure out how the, oh, there we go. So to rotate the camera, it's Q and E. Just like that, so not difficult. Oop, 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 oop. Nope, nope, nope. I haven't even shot at this guy yet. So let's. Now that's beautiful. Now as you could probably see, the damage is not persistent here, so the actual ship is not, you know, the guns are not. The guns are not doing any persistent damage to the actual hull of the ship. So I just wanted to point that out. Now this is an alpha that's probably gonna change. There are damages, as you can see, to the sails here, so that's really cool. And you can see actual sh uh, individuals on the ship, like the Marines here, opening fire with musketry, so that's really cool. The sails do actually collapse, so that's another really cool thing that I, uh, I didn't notice. So right off the bat, there's a whole bunch of pros that I do love. A little bit of flag animation is really nice. I want to knock his sails out. That was the thing. I'm not doing well. Now the this number here is kind of giving you the heads up on how many crew you have. So I have 265 crew, 40 guns. I didn't lose a single gun. I don't think. Yes, you can. Can I get? No, I can't get a. It's not going to give me a readout from him. Okay. So, it'll tell me he has 252 crews. I'm still trying to figure out this model here. I'm assuming the red is the cannons. 
on each side. I'm trying to figure out also the blue and yellow. I think I remember what that caused, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not gonna say it. Now, when you right click, you can see that when you right click, that pops up. I'm assuming that's targeting a ship. And when you click away, oh, oh, oh. when you click away, that's not working. Uh, if there's another ship here, I can right click them and it would uh, switch ships, I've noticed. So, a couple of pros uh, that I mentioned there, can, uh, you can zoom on individual ships. I'm just reading from my thing here. Beautiful animations, I kind of covered that. The learning curve, surprisingly, just like every other Ultimate General game, is quick. This is not a game where you're going to spend like an hour and a half trying to figure out how does this game work, how, you know, things like that. You're not going to have that problem. This game is one, two, three, you're already into it, five, ten minutes. They put a tutorial in the beginning, as you, could, uh, as you saw. I never needed to use it. I actually didn't even play it, so I actually went into this game and got rocket and rolling right away. As you can see, I have some reinforcements coming. You can select multiple ships, and you can have them come here, and you can see which direction they're coming. Quick, very simple, very easy. The one cool thing I love about this studio is they're known for their incredible, incredible chain of command. In Ultimate General Civil War, they literally nailed something that most games can't get, which is order of battle where you were able to command a brigade, a division, a corps, an entire army, and you can actually assign entire army positions within literally under 60 seconds, which is, <laughs> I remember when I, was, when I was going through that gameplay, I was like, no way, it cannot be this easy. And it was, and it is. If you ever play Ultimate General Civil War, you gotta check it out. It's crazy. I've never played a game where I was able to move entire cores, entire armies, with just a single click and just set them up along an entire embankment or hills and stuff like that, which is literally less than 30 seconds. It's, it, it's pretty remarkable. So, uh, what am I doing? They got some reinforcements coming, I think, right? Yeah, they are coming. That way. Uh, other things I wanted to point out is the beautiful ship models, as you can see here. Really nice. And then each one's different. This is the Spaniards, as you can see, different hull, different colors, different configurations. Right, really like the attention to detail. You can see the grills on the on these plates here. Love the smoke smoke animations. Really amazing stuff. Now, one thing I'm probably not going to be able to show you here is that if I really pummel this ship and I kick the crap out of it, you're going to start seeing the ship take on water. I've noticed a lot of times they start taking water here, and then eventually start. You see that water kind of dipping closer and closer to the top. And I love that. It was it was beautiful. So let me get this. Really love seeing the Marines just fire up. Now the one thing about this game, the reason why I lost the last time is because you gotta keep an eye on these behemoths. So the Spanish have, I think, one or two behemoths. I have one. I have the U, uh, HMS, I was gonna say USS, HMS Centurion, right? And as you can see, 500 crew, 68 guns. I mean, it's a ship of the line. It's no joke. But then when you go to Spanish here, 500, 500. <laughs> so as you can see, might have a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of have to unify the fleet here. There you go. There are my guys. Go here, and I can issue order for all of them. Now, a couple other things that you can see here. You can. This is for stop move. I'm assuming for weighing anchor. You, another cool thing I did like about this is you can have all your decks hold fire, and then once you're right up close, you can just let go and just go to town on the enemy ship. Love that. 
And this is really cool. You can, if you're close to the ship, you can click this button. They'll throw ropes at each other and just <laughs> go fist to fist. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, I'm probably not going to spend too much time on this first impressions. I kind of wanted to give you guys just a like a broad view of this game and to kind of give you guys a little taste of it, you know, a little appetizer kind of thing. Ooh, okay, it's 110, so that's not... This is a little nothing shit kind of thing. Uh, I need you to go back up to 50, 75% sale. You know, I've got a full sale. I need you to start moving. All right, what else? Uh, I did notice these things. So when you're shooting at another, it'll kind of give you a heads up that you hit them seven times. Re uh, it bounced off them four times. So it kind of gives you notifications here. Little mission plots here. Now, as you can see, this is where my cannons are going to open fire. One thing I love is the sound effects, too. You hear those cannons just firing up. What are those big giants? There we go. That's where they are. guys are moving at full speed right yes you are good to go let's see what else uh, i mentioned the crew marines firing ship the ship hopefully uh, i can zoom in on a little bit further when they get really close i wasn't able to show you guys the the throwing and the ropes and the close fights i they only did that at one time on my last battle but it was really cool and then <laughs> i lost the last time that happened is the uh, i think it was the, one of those big Goliaths of the Spanish fleet, right? Not that guy. One of these guys. Yeah, one ship to ship on them through the ropes. And obviously I lost. And then my ship was, well, basically <laughs> theirs in essence. So uh, I think that's pretty much all the pros that I have. Yeah, those are, all, those are the things I usually popped out that right off the bat. Uh, really love this damage here. It's persistent. That's what's really, I really like about it. You see the damage to the sails. Now, once you get the, uh, once this hits in like beta or vanilla version, you can start seeing the holes and uh, damage to the actual ship. It's going to be beautiful. You could see that they're already taking some damage here because the ship is like listing. You could see the bow is deep in. I must have done some real big damage here. You could see there kind of sinking where mine is not mine's right here so they're definitely taking on water you can even see from here they're kind of sinking they're pretty much a uh, i mean it's just a matter of time and you're gonna start seeing water pop up in here when it comes close to the end so and of course you can fast forward this just in case you don't want to deal with too much stuff you can see that guy's trailing off now, the one thing I, I kind of am curious, if the fleet can, I don't know, repair the ship, if they can kind of, I wonder if, like, if you have, like, only, like, a small amount of crew, right, does the ship go out quicker, mainly because they can't empty out as much water, because I know back in those days, you know, they used to get buckets and try to, like, <laughs> you know, hold off time, basically, but if you have, like, 20 guys, does that ship just pretty much go to the bottom of the uh, Davy Jones locker because they can't get out enough water? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably play for a little bit longer so I can show you guys these 500 Goliaths going up against my fleet here. I got like 280s and a 500. 
and then I'm gonna this guy's probably gonna have to handle these two I'm gonna have you kind of you know I think the tactics that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these guys kind of go like this something like that Ooh. And then, yeah, you're gonna go this way and kind of go to the bottom of this formation here, go last. So we have a nice like little line here where they're just gonna like shell the crap out of anything on the left side. Oh man, I'm out of coffee. Oh. I literally was editing a podcast for, I have a single mall strategy podcast I do with the historical gamer and Tortuga, which are both the, uh, YouTubers, and we were basically talking about Steel Division 2, that a game that just released, and we just did a whole podcast on it. I literally spent like eight, nine, ten hours, I lost count, uh, editing the bloody podcast, <laughs> doing a lot of work on that, so I'm a little tired and got to get up at zero, seven hundred, so it's, yeah, last of the coffee. All right. But yeah, this is a really amazing game, to be honest with you guys. I, you know, they have, Game Labs actually has this game in the works. They have another one, I think it's called Dreadnoughts in the works. And I think they have one or two other games that are in the works. I mean, Game Labs is not playing games. They're, they're literally throwing out title after title, and each one is incredible. They have one that I think takes place in the Wild West something like this and it's really amazing i'm gonna have to actually go to the website and find out what the name is because it's incredible ah uh, this is my land and some of the screenshots for this is insane i know it has it's a open world stealth action game living in a hostile environment which evolves over time independently from players actions kind of reminds me of like Red Dead Redemption, but I would say a lot more detail. <laughs> I mean, just looking at one of the rocks, I mean, just one single rock has just incredible amount of detail and textures. It's just insane what they're doing with the level that they're going to on these games. All right, and then you're gonna... Everybody say hello. This guy is gonna take a wallop. Once my 500 guy comes up. Everybody's saying hello. Give a nice wave to, to everybody here. Is there a big, big boy coming up? I hope he doesn't ram me. He looks like he's going to come right at me. Oh, man. Are you close to firing? Come on, open fire. You can see it. It's like literally... <laughs> they're like a pontoon boat at this point. You can see this beautiful exchange here. Oh, and they got some cannons in the back here. They really think they're going to be... Look at this. Look how bad they're... Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, snap. Where's that other ship? Double time it. Shit. Ah, uh, look at this AI. They got smart. Check this out. They pushed my ship to kind of angle out. 
Did you see that? What they're trying to do? They broke my formation right here. Oh, that AI, man. They got a... They got brain on top of their head. Smart. Very smart. Man, you're taking too slow. I think if I lower the speed, he can angle up a little bit faster. Come on, fire. Mind you, I forgot to mention, I'm running a AMD 560, so it's a mid-range graphics card, so if you're running like a 580 and up, or a NVIDIA 1070 and up, I'm assuming you're probably going to get better graphics, more detail, and stuff like that. So I'm running a mid-range card, I just want to point that out. Just in case you guys are like, well, I thought there was going to be more detail. Yeah, well, if you have a 1080, you probably will. Then look at this. I'm pulling this shit. So I'm gonna try this. Uh, get him off this guy's back. This way. Come on, where are you? Jeez, you're so far back. His sails must be broken or something, because he's barely moving. Come on, speed up, man. It's taking forever to get to the combat zone. Ooh, ooh. Go to half sail. I want to duke it out with this, this buddy boy over here. Oh, shit. Do your best, do your best. Let's take a look at our old buddy here. Is she taking on water? No, not yet. Slow death for her. What did I tell you about those sound effects? Where's my boy over here? Dude, you're still making that bloody turn? Are you kidding me? I don't know what the heck's going on with their ship. Let me figure an angle out this way. Where's he going? Did I do that much damage to you? Must have done something. His bow is not doing so well. And you, sir. You I'm surprised this guy is still above water.
Let him have it. Oh, look at this. He's still water popping in. Come on, fire on this guy. Are you reloading or something? Am I too close? Or is he too... My guns haven't been firing for a little bit. wonder if the red means he's too close. This guy keeps going further and further kidding me right come on double time it let's go oh she's really gonna come up on my side you crazy right you little loco come on you're really gonna come up on my broadside here with your pathetic display of guns crew come on you, you're nuts right I want to see this. Let's see if my gun is... So I'll slow down just for you. I'll just slow down just for you. I'll have you catch up, oh, you fracker, you piece of fracker. It's not going to let me turn, is it? Go this way. There we go. Oh, you see, this is another thing that's a pro. When the ship is pretty much out on its last legs, you'll see them kind of abandon the ship with these rafts in the water. Oh, and that's what I'm talking about. I got 15 hits on that one. Come on, she's still standing? Seahorse took heavy damage, man. Oh shit, she's coming up on my side. Head back up in formation. Double, double time that. Where the frack are you? You're taking a sweet jolly time. Ooh, she did a nice broadside on me. She's not gonna be able to keep up with me. She's pretty much a wreck at this point. I'm surprised there's no water coming in. So I think half the crew left, right? Because it's the them and then the other half. Oh shit, no. No, they're missing a ship. This is what's remaining out of that ship. This is the other big dog that they have. Shit, I thought that was a little frigate that they have. We'll switch guns. Come on, man. I'm gonna have a heck of a time. I got two, I got one ship that's pretty much. Still, I could still outgun this guy. <laughs> Feel bad for these guys. Now, one interesting thing is these two ships, these two boats, can actually hook up with this guy and increase their crew capacity. So that's just another thing you probably want to consider. Come on, come on, come on! Move, move, move! Go 
over 75%. I want them in my firing solution. Damn, they did some nice hits on me. <laughs> These guys are in a world of shit. And another thing about this is uh, you have the uh, wind here. So definitely, it's another thing you want to consider. Ah, come on. She can't stand up to this one by herself. And this guy's going too daggone slow. Come on. Damn it. I wonder why we can't shoot. I'm gonna try this engage button here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I barely meant a dent in that guy. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Let's see if she can. It's a slower ship, so I'm hoping. She's turning with me. Come on, guys. Finally, this guy's going to work. Missing the bloody ship. There we go. I noticed the waves kind of affect a lot of my shots, which is really cool because that comes into the, a lot of the physics. Ooh, I did some damage there. That's gonna take me below 400, right? Yeah. Shit. I took a beating on that one. Shit. Not doing too well, man. I mean, granted, I'm not a really good with naval warfare. I mean, never admitted I was. But still, at the same time, let's see. Let's see if we get this, this guy out of the game. Maybe I can commandeer their ship. See? Rope's going in. I your mother's uncle. I'm probably gonna lose this battle here, but I wonder if can you still engage?
Marines are going to work. Oh, look at that. This ship is a done. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. Definitely not going to win this one. Look at this. I got one ship here that's not doing that well. Let's do this. And, and you do that. I'm going to have to call. I'm going to have to give you guys up. Crew shock. Disengage. Cut the ropes. Cut the ropes. Come on, cut the ropes. Hoping that there you go. And you're gonna follow him. Go. Yep, you can see my ship was taken right here. Now I think the ship disappears. Right, you can see the water ready there. I think the ship disappears. I don't think they take control over it. Like I mean who would want it at this point, right? It's just a it's pretty much a done deal at this point. She's going into the uh Davy Jones is locker. Look at that. You gotta admit, that's a beautiful animation right there. Look at this. You could see the ship underneath the water has the kind of keels in and out. Love this. It's beautiful, man. Love this animation. Ooh. That's. Ooh. That's beautiful. You could see it's still listing. It's like listing on the side. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna kind of probably end it right here, guys. I'm not gonna win this one. They got two big dogs in the game, and I got a small one. But I mean, it's almost like one for one at this point. And I hear the little one crying. I think downstairs. I wonder if that's mine or the next door neighbors. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really enjoyed playing this game. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would normally say this game really shocked me, right? That this game really impressed me, but honestly, after Ultimate General Civil War, you know, <laughs> you know, all game labs literally is they never cease to amaze me. You know, like I, I'm always like when I come into their games, it's like I'm expecting greatness, and again. They did an incredible job with this. And this game is still in alpha, so there's still a lot more to see. So, yeah, I'm very, I'm again, I'm impressed. You know, I, I, I think they're going to do with naval combat what they did with land combat with Ultimate General Civil War. So, look forward to it. I can't wait to uh, a couple more future updates. And that does it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you then.